Hi, my name is Raphael Chiu Chow Ming. Why I call myself Raphael? Because Raphael stands for God has healed. In medical term, I diagnose with muscular atrophy. But in Christ, I'm healed. Actually, in 2006, 7 or 8, during this period of time, I felt myself got no strength. I can't even carry things. Even though I sit on a chair, I got difficulties to get up. Until 2008, my colleague shared gospel with me. I was very touched in my heart. And I told myself, I need to go to church. So when I stepped in the church, I told myself, hey, must be garang no, gang ho. Chu Chong Ming, you are strong enough. You cannot cry, you know, understand? I said, yes. But once they sing the worship song, dancing my soul, while well, my soul started crying, I feel very joyful. Lah. And I feel I'm renewed. So on that night, 2008, 30th of August, I accepted Christ. And tell Jesus, Jesus, if you are real, tell me what happened to me. So next day, I followed my wife to her church. Happens that I met a pain care specialist. So he checked for me. Then he said, Chong I think you got muscular atrophy. I said, what is that? He said, Hong Kong is muscle cutie. Your muscle toing, 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 small and small and then, that's it. I said, ha, like that. Uh. How? Uh? He said, never mind, never mind. Uh, look for a second opinion. Uh. So the doctor check. Wow, the doctor check, look at me, check, look at me, check, look at me. Shake his head. I was scared, you know, I said, hey, doctor, what happened? He said, I feel very sad, you know, Mr. Chiu. God gave me anointing to be a doctor, but I don't know why, as a doctor, I cannot heal your sickness because, you know, it's a terminal illness. So within 18, 24 months, sayonara. Say, wow, God, take me 40 years to know you. The day I know you, I'm going to see you. I said, cannot lie that day. I want to see another doctor. I look for the Singapore most famous doctor. So before I could see him, I went to a toilet cubicle and I pray. Same thing, I cry and cry and cry and cry and pray and pray. But then God is so good. You know, I accepted Christ on the 30th of August. But then when I see the third doctor, it was uh, 4th or 4th, 3 or 4th of September. I only read the Bible verse, Psalm 23 and Isaiah 53. Claim that God promised I'll be healed in the name of Jesus, but I'll stop. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. But God gave me the verse about Job. Let me read about Job. Job cannot all this and that, family broke, sickness. He still trusts God. Of course, not God gave me the sickness, but I know that God is with me. I tell myself, it's the total submission. Even though if I die, so what? I'm not really dying. I just go to heaven and join Star Search. Da -na, da -na -na -na, or then we start awards. Whatever it is, I say, God, never mind. I trust in you. If I really go upstairs, take care of my wife, my daughter, my mom, that's it. Okay? I join you lah. I go upstairs. Lah. So then when I go and see the doctor, the third doctor, suddenly after the, the checkup here and there, touch me and there, say, you won't die because of this sickness. You still live maybe another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, 30, I don't know. But of course, you have to do some adjustment in your lifestyle. Maybe in 3 years time, you need a walking stick, 5 year crunches, 7 or 8 year, you need to sit, sit on a wheelchair, you cannot move anymore. But thank God, until now, I still can drive, I still can walk. And though I'm very, very slow, but I think God is really good to me. God really prepared me. Before I know my sickness, I know God. So once I know God, I got the peace. Even I encounter a storm in my life, but God is with me. Jesus is in the same boat with me. So if Jesus is with me, why should I scared off? Every day when I walk, I do my some daily routine stuff. I might feel some uh, weakness in my leg. I just lay my hand and I pray and talk to God. God give me the strength. I need to walk. I need to do flaming. No? Not for my own self. I want to glorify you. I want to, most importantly, I want to share the gospel. If you really want, don't mind, open up your heart and share with you the gospel. will give you hope. Not me give you hope. Only Jesus can give you hope. Because of Jesus, everything will turn out good. We invite you to the celebration of hope 
17 to 19 May 2019 at National Stadium. We will see you there.